So what do you think? Hoping to hear from you soon. Preferably before I get evicted from my home. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's <laughs> yeah, make them feel sorry for you, yeah. Yeah, that's a good guess. Uh, no, no guess at all. Oh, what, are you psychic then? No. <laughs> Did I tell you my sleep? It's just... It's just something your dad would have done. You know, I'll make you both proud someday. Can I hold you to that? Absolutely. Oh, come in. <laughs> Bend over! <laughs> Bend over, I'm a bum raping burglar! <laughs> Connor, what are you doing? Hello, Mrs. Riley. Hello, Connor. How are you? Politicians in Wales have voted to change the rules on organ donation. The current opt-in approach will now be altered to a system of presumed consent. It means that everyone in Wales will be assumed to be a donor unless they state otherwise. Detectives looking for a man suspected of killing his ex-girlfriend in Salford have released CCTV footage of him in a shop hours before she died. 28-year-old Michael Cope is wanted in connection with the murder of Lindsay Ashton. The mother of two's body was found at her home on Saturday. Meanwhile, a 25-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. Up to 1,800 jobs are being axed at the Royal Bank of Scotland's Ulster Bank Division. Around 40 branches are going to close under plans to return it to profit within the next three years. It'll mainly affect rural branches as the bank looks to focus more on towns and cities. The Home Secretary has launched a public consultation on police stop and search powers. Theresa May says the number of stops leading to an arrest, just 9%, is far too low for comfort and that certain communities feel singled out. John, I know what you're doing. I thought you promised this would stop. John, I know what you're doing in there. You absolutely promised me that you wouldn't do that anymore. you're doing. This really is the limit.